Hi. Um, by the way, I've literally had this microphone since I was in diapers. I got it for my 24th birthday back when I was making messes in my pants and calling my parents Goo Goo and Gaga. I called my mother Lady Gaga. I called my father Bradley Coop Coop. Also, by the way, why do YouTubers now, and I'm not trying to be a hater, I'm genuinely asking a question, have like a big dumpy podcast microphone just like covering most of their chin? Why is that necessary? It's not ASMR. Like when I'm watching your trashy gossip video about a TikToker that I've never heard of deleting some tweet that I never saw and don't care about, just like sitting there with my mouth open, regretting my life, psychologically projecting anger at them that's probably meant for myself. I don't need to also hear the intricacies of your lip smacks. That doesn't have to be part of the experience. Also, can you see the single gray hair on my stubble? It's very interesting to me. I noticed it a few months ago, and for some reason I thought like, oh, I'll just shave it and it's gone, but no, it's like here to stay. It's a part of my life now. Anyway, today I thought it would be fun to look at a YouTube channel that I made in 2008 when I was 13. 13 years old. It has 5.43 thousand subscribers. I was a child star. I honestly forgot that I even made it until recently Timothy Chalamet brought it up to me. Do you guys know Timothy? This is like my second channel. It was called My Toe Warm. It was stuff that I deemed not worthy of the main channel, My Toe Cold Treatment. For context, this was... <laughs> So it was pretty good. Okay, let's go first video. By the way, it is a different day now. I put the same shirt and hat on just to make you feel comfortable, but the whole time I was filming that intro, I felt like I was gonna pass out. I don't know if you can see it in my eyes. I'm gonna take my glasses off actually because you can see the ring lights like reflecting in them and I feel like that shows weakness. Like why can't he figure out how to make that not happen? What else can't he do? Build a house, protect a woman? I know what you're thinking, I really do. This video is called a la 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 gal ga, period. Literally, period, enough said. I'm tired. Um... Can I just say, already, like, this is the chillest video on YouTube. Like, what pill did I take 45 minutes before pressing record that just kicked in? I'm tired. School is almost out. Like, that is the lack of urgency of someone who does not expect anyone to ever watch this. I honestly wonder what he would say if I told him, like, 13 years from now, you are going to make fun of this video. He'd probably be like, don't. Also, are the Jonas Brothers okay? Like, what happened to the boys? Also, that voice School right here. School is almost out. School is almost out. I don't know why I thought I had to do that. I feel like there must be some guy on like an MTV show my sister was watching that I'm trying to impersonate because I was like, oh, that's what a cool bro sounds like. School used to be in, but like now it's out. They like decided to like make it stop. So we're not gonna do school anymore. Ah, uh, there's lots of nice people. That's good to hear actually. I'm surprised to and hear there's that. There's lots of mean people, but okay. the mean people are more fun than the nice people. The mean people are more fun than the, that, like, like right there, that sentence, a therapist should have intervened. Clearly I've been attracted to toxicity since I was able to sit in that position and not scream. How am I doing that? Oh look, it's my doll. Oh look, it's his doll. What's he gonna do with it? Ah. <laughs> okay. Good choice, my friend. I don't even know if I can do that noise anymore. I'm gonna get my current doll. Let's do it. He lasted longer. This one clearly made on the same night I was on a roll. It's called No More S. I don't know what that means. I decided that my, I hate the letter S. That's not true at all. I'm pretty much completely indifferent to every letter. I don't like typing things and starting it with S. Okay, I have forgotten a lot of my life, I will admit that, but there's no way that's true. Like, I'm just bored and lying. I have like a phobia of that. I did not have a phobia of the letter S while saying it over and over again. By the way, I I was way ahead of the curve on self-diagnosing. I also don't like the number 24. Not true, but go off. Well, watching TV, I have to be on either something that ends with a 1 or an 8, or it's hard for me to watch TV. Or it's hard for me to watch TV. I'm just imagining myself like trying to impress someone at school, like with all my problems. I'm like, yeah, I can't even watch TV anymore. I can't do my homework because of all the S's in it. By the way, I'm just having fun. I think I'm absolutely adorable here and clearly trying my best. Happy I am because I got my new camera working. <laughs> That's really sweet, I will say, but I have to be real. It looks like bleep. Sorry, I'm still afraid of saying that word on YouTube. They're hecka strict now. I'm gonna go. Hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Just kidding. I don't say that except for right now. Sometimes I watch Family Guy. I didn't know where else to confess that. I couldn't look you in the eyes while I did it. I'm gonna go. Not to be rude. I'll see you soon. Mm, bye. Did anybody even care? Like, what were the comments? Oh, that's right. YouTube turned off all the comments on my old videos because, like, it's a video of a kid, technically, and I think you're not allowed to comment on them. Like, you can't say hi to him. 
hey, how are you? Like, I just broke the rules. Okay, this one I have to show because I actually remember making this. I don't even know why, but there was some video called Jim Galette Hits an Insane Scream on YouTube. I don't even know if it was like viral. I think I just found it. It was like a heavy metal 80s guy with like stuffed jeans and he was just like screaming and showing off his vocal cords. For some reason, one day after school, I hung up my blanket on the bookshelf like I used to for a video background and I wanted to recreate that video exactly. I don't even know why. Like, I must have just had one of those blue monster energy drinks and it just felt right. So I just did. And by the way, at the end of this, I hit a note. I think it's called a whistle note. Ariana Grande like invented it where my voice gets so high. It sounds like I edited it. Like I've never been so proud of myself. I remember it. Look at this. That's real. Like, how was I not in Kids Bop? If I emailed that video to Kids Bop, they'd be like, where are you? Like, can you get here by seven? We're doing Old Town Road again, we need you. Okay, this one I remember too. This was a big deal for me. There was some company called Mevio. I don't think they exist anymore. And they emailed me like two years into me making videos. And they were like, can we use your clip on our like internet news show? And I was like, uh, yeah, daddy. Like, get me out of this town. I know producers are always pushing for delivery with personality, oh. but this guy what? Kind of taking it just a uh -oh. bit too far. I'm thinking he needs a straight jacket. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this actually made me angry because I was like, what? Seriously? You're gonna like take my clip for free? I asked for like $20. They wouldn't give it to me and then say I need a straight jacket? Like, I'm a minor. And also, you were right. Like, you should have called a psychiatrist. Like, did you hear what I said about loving mean people? This one's called Having Trouble. This is definitely just a blooper. Just a classic bloop. And if Rihanna's gonna grow around- I'm talking about Rihanna here. If you didn't know, I used to make videos like explaining the lyrics of like Rihanna or T.I. songs and I'd be like, what the heck? is a Patron and where is this club anyway meant a lot to a lot of different people. And if Rihanna's gonna go around- That is not a proper side bang by the way. Like I was forcing it even at that point. And if Rihanna's gonna roll around- And if Rihanna's so gonna go serious. around- So serious. The toddlers who listen to their- that was scary. Did you see me right there? Like, that was real anger that you could, like, bottle up and throw at somebody. Like, that's clearly about something else entirely. There's no way I was that angry about messing up my Rihanna vlog. This is kind of interesting. This is drama. This is me responding to a video that got hate comments from my main channel where I, like, made fun of this other YouTuber back then who was really popular named Mitchell Davis. Live, love, a live. He was, like, this cute guy with long hair. I was, of course, jealous of him because he was more popular than me, and it made me angry. And I remember it was bad. Like, I got flooded with hate. It was, like, abusive. And, like, I was 14. I didn't know what to do. Like, I do feel bad for him. One said, um, I want to drop kick you into space. I don't know if that's, like, a quote from a movie. I'm about to Google it. But... That's an interesting defense mechanism. I'm like, uh, someone said they want to hurt me, but I think they were just referencing a comedy film, so I'll look that up later. And that has plus four calm. Oh, so that's so people... sad, because I remember, like, it was bad enough to get a hate comment, but when it would also be like, and by the way, 45 people agree with this monster, it would just be crushing. It'd be like, oh, geez, that guy says that I should be shot. That seems totally unfair, but it's just one person. Oh, no, 15 people co-signed on that. If you died, I would probably laugh a little. I honestly can't even watch this. Like, this is sad, right? Like, this is supposed to be a fun video. This is making me think about my... I don't know. It just makes me kind of emotional because like I just wanted to like have my own show so badly and YouTube was kind of new and I think that hate comments were worse back then. I know they're still bad but like I was a guy in 2008 with like long hair and a high-pitched voice and like that wasn't a super safe experience on the internet and I was too young to understand how to deal with that. I think I, I don't know how you could even as an older person but like I do feel bad for myself. Like I don't think that that was okay. Like that shouldn't have happened you know and like it's kind of a inevitable and that's what's horrible about it. I, I would like to think that now there's more pushback to the hate comments and there's more people like responding with a hate to the hater and like that gets more thumbs up or whatever but man I think some of that is like imprinted deep down and I don't know how to get rid of it. I just wanted to have fun. Like I just wanted to ah, like that's all I was trying to do okay. This one is called government is watching. I have no idea. What is this? How is this even a YouTube video? It's like I don't even know I'm filming. I'm like, one second, I'm putting my sweater on. I'll be right with you. 
<laughs> See, that is good. Like, people ask me, like, how'd you become an influencer? Well, were you doing this at 15? No, you weren't, so you don't get the brand deals. Okay, let's do another. Yes, it is a different day. Again, I didn't bother changing back into the white shirt. Again, it just felt false this time. I actually love making videos this way. For some reason, for the longest time, I thought that you had to make them all at once, like it was a movie shoot, and I would just scream at the camera for like four hours at a time until I was drenched in sweat, and people would be like, dude, you're kind of greasy, and I'd be like, shut up! I'm trying to work hard for you! It's not always pretty! This video is called Crawling on My Toys. It seems like it would be self-explanatory, but believe it or not, it's actually a about the War of 1812. Just joking. No, it's a video of me crawling on my toys, for real. This one's from 2013, by the way, so not as much of a baby. I was legal at this point. By the way, when I say legal, I don't mean like by my age. I mean, it was technically illegal to raise me in captivity in the state of California until I think 2012, kind of like how you can't own a ferret. So yeah, that's me setting up my toys. First, I set them up like a man does. And then if you look right there, as promised, I crawl on my toys. I've seen this so many times and to this day it still gives me goosebumps. See, this is my favorite part, it's the cleanup. After I'm done crawling, I pick up my mess. It's the polite thing to do. When you go camping in a national forest, you remove your trash afterwards. You return Mother Nature to her natural state, sure. I think Crawling on My Toys holds up. It's a cult classic, you know? It's this generation's Donnie Darko. And much like Donnie Darko, a lot of people don't understand the ending of Crawling on My Toys. He was dead the whole time. He's really crawling to hell. This one makes me sad too. It's a video of my old dog Ace being so weird and cute. He was so ugly in the cutest way. He was like a skinny Dumbo. Look at his ears. And there's me petting him with my vicarious bracelets on. I love you. I seriously, I can't get enough of you. I wish I had more of you. I love you. You can clip that out and send it to your ex, by the way, if you guys don't know how to communicate your own feelings. I'll do it for you right now. Hi. I miss you. Send this to your ex, okay? I miss you, okay? I know that I'm messed up, and I don't know why I act the way that I do, and I'm willing to work on it. You're worth it. I'll go to therapy. I'll see a therapist that doesn't even accept insurance. I'll do out-of-pocket cost $140 a week just to get the opportunity to maybe hold your hand again, to feel your big fingers. That doesn't make sense. Nothing I say makes sense. God, why aren't I on Netflix? How is it not like Riverdale starring my toe cold, the man behind crawling on my toys? I totally forgot I uploaded a video of my grandma's reaction to me watching a Bo Burnham special in 2013. Yeah, she didn't like it. It was punk rock. I don't want to get copyright striked or whatever, so I'm going to cover the boy up. Don't look at him. That'd be so weird if he sued me. He's like Taylor Swift, just suing his fans left and right. He sues 400,000 TikTok teens. He's like, next time ask permission before using my audio. Anyway, that was her reaction. I hope that was worth it. What am I doing? This grosses me out. This one's called Dance Daddy in all lowercase. I don't know if I ever told this story, but in like 2014, I would listen to this podcast like every day where the comedian host would like ironically refer to himself as daddy. And I thought it was really funny that I started like stealing it. And on my Instagram stuff, I would be like, daddy doesn't like going to the store. And it'd be like me with a grocery bag. At the time, I didn't realize that that in turn would make my audience start referring to me back as daddy. I had to like make an announcement at one point like stop calling me daddy. It makes me uncomfortable That's a good merch idea by the way like a tight long sleeve See something like this in hindsight Maybe I'm looking too deep into it, but feels a lot more symptomatic than I realized at the time like that feels like a hyper Activity or mania having platforms online where I can like be weird and funny and people will watch it It's always hard for me to tell like am I losing my mind right now? Or am I just being weird and funny and if anyone ever writes like are you okay because people People say that to me a lot like are you good and I'm like dude I'm just doing like a performance art thing like I'm being weird on purpose don't you get it but then in my own head I'm like am I okay like is he okay? I can't tell. Oh, this one's my cover of the Golden Girls theme song on the piano when I was like 13. I'm afraid of getting copywritten and playing it. I don't really know how to work all that stuff. So I'll just show you the beginning where I like jump into the camera frame. I think I run down the hall and I do a big leap so right hey there. Guys. You have to clap for yourself guys when nobody else will. Give yourselves a round of applause right now. Are you clapping? 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 See that right there, like was that funny or was that just obsessive compulsive? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, I think I'm done. There are more on there, but I'm getting uncomfortable. Seems uncalled for, right? Like, why do I lash out just because I'm having a bad feeling? By the way, my vinyl, my white vinyl of my EP, Some Other Light, it's still available on, I think it's drewmonson.limitedrun.com. Look at 
that. I think it's pretty. I'll be totally honest. I made pink ones and they sold out really fast. So I was like, oh, let's make more. People want these. The whites have not moved as quickly. I think there's like a hundred left out of 300. They're not rare right now, but I think before like the end of the world, I can't promise, they will sell out. And at that point, this will become a rare item. It's not right now. I would say within 30 years, this will be worth at least double its value. Is that illegal for me to say? I'm not saying you should invest in it like a stock, but also the back has pink on it. It's got this picture of me like on the swings. Sorry, don't be mad. I hope you enjoyed that. I feel like I'm not a natural reactor. I kind of just paused it and talked about something else, but that's how boys are. What the heck? Batteries. You ever need batteries, but all you have in your drawer are other old batteries that you just don't know how to get rid of because you don't feel like going to the place where you put old batteries. So you just put those in there and you're like, well, these are out of juice too, but maybe because they've been laying around, they like recharge themselves somehow. Okay, I was right. I, I guess I am always, I am always right as they say, they say that. I'm very lonely. Leave me a comment. I'm very lonely. Leave me a comment. I'm very not my best ending, but probably my best beginning. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot because sometimes you have to. I always want my videos to have a moral of the story and this one didn't and I just found it. Clap for yourself sometimes. Has someone already done that? I don't know. I need popcorn, I really do. I'm wearing popcorn on my shirt, you see that? You see that? See what you did to me? I'm just kidding. I'm serious.